In Plain Sight, written by Richard Jackson and Jerry Pickney. Sophie lives with mommy, mama and daddy and grandpa who lives by the window. He can see Sophie come and go, call and wave goodbye, hello, as he looks out. And after school each day, Sophie looks in. Here I am, Grandpa, she says. How was the morning? Surprising, he says. I had me a paper cut, you know, nice and shiny. Now it's vanished. Help me find it, will you, with your bright eyes. Where, says Sophie. That's just it, honey. You have to look. If you lean close, you might hear Sophie say, oh, and eventually you might hear her say, there. Good, says Grandpa. Thanks, honey. Here I am, says Sophie on Tuesday. Oh, Sophie, he says, how was school? Good, it was a blue day. Well, I can see that. And how about you, Grandpa? Today was regretful. Oh, yes, I had me a rubber band stretchy. Boeing now. Boeing, that band is gone. Help me find it, huh? And eventually, in plain sight, here I am, Grandpa says, Sophie on Wednesday. Was today better? Not so much, Grandpa says. Had me a drinking straw. Bendy, just right, you remember. Now it's skedaddled. I'll look, says Sophie. I wonder. And eventually, in plain sight. Good girl, Grandpa says. Thanks. On Thursday, Sophie says, here I am, Grandpa. Anything missing? Well, wouldn't you know, Grandpa's favorite painting brush for Waterful Colors Child. I'm missing that. Can you help me, lovely? I'll try, says Sophie, and eventually in plain sight. Here I am, Grandpa. Friday at last. You bet, honey, he says, turning his smile to her. But wait, just look. Oh, Grandpa, you silly. Keep the dollar, Sophie. Tomorrow, he says, you can buy yourself something with it. Here I am, Grandpa, said, er, Sophie says, early today. No shopping? Well, best to save that dollar, I guess, for college. Now, let's see. Had me a, a what? A lemon drop. Delicious to think of, but then it trotted off, unlicked. Don't tell me, Grandpa. And eventually, in plain sight. Good girl, said Grandpa. No, no, you have it. Sunday morning as usual, at his door, Sophie starts to say, Grandpa, here I, but Mama hushes her. He's sleeping now, which gives Sophie an idea. She whispered it to Mom. Daddy laughs when he hears. All right, he says, if you tiptoe. Here's Sophie at her quietest, her tiptoeiest. That curtain at Grandpa's window, well, keep an eye on it. And eventually... Where's Sophie? Grandpa wakes. Oh, yawns. Ah, behind the curtain, a commotion. Wiggling, giggling, jiggling. Sophie, Grandpa says, that's you? Why, I'll be. Here I am, says Sophie. Like always. <laughs>